Hello everyone and welcome to my third C++ tutorial. Today in this tutorial I'm going to be um, teaching you how to um, make a program that will find the hypotenuse of a triangle. Um, the, I'll do another tutorial right after this one explaining how to write a program that will do the quadratic formula for you. So um, I know the hypotenuse of a triangle. It's super simple. Everybody knows the program a squared plus b squared equals c squared. It's super easy. Um, but let's say that for some reason you're in seventh grade math and your teacher is really weird and they decide to give you a problem where you have um, to uh, find the uh, length of the hypotenuse of uh, the, the hypotenuse of a triangle. Well, first of all, I don't even know why they'd give you that kind of problem in a seventh grade math course or even ninth grade or whatever. Point is, they should only be giving you that kind of problem in like fifth or fourth grade. Anyways. Um, um, what was I going to say? Ah, yes. Also, second thing, why would the teacher even let you take your, um, test home to even use the program? I don't really know, and you're probably never going to ever use this program in your life, but, I mean, I'm just going to teach you anyways, because, eh, okay? So, the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to do include... And then, um, here, I'll zoom in so you guys can see. Is this good enough? Just kidding, I'm going to zoom out a bit more because that's a bit weird. Include, okay. And the header file that we're going to include is called CMath. <laughs> and this basically allows us to do a bunch of mathematics within C++. Now we're going to do our normal ones that we always do. IO stream. Um, and we're going to do S stream. And string. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and create our main function. It's going to return an integer. So it's going to be our main function. Let's go ahead and create that. And the brackets to group the function. Um, and in the function, we're going to create some variables. So the first variable that we're going to create is going to be called um, a, oh, oops, a, and then we're going to create another one called b, and then we're going to create another one called c. All right. So um, with those variables, um, we're going to have to um, create a program, or sorry, um, a little command that will take in the input for those values, and then of course, hypotenuse. That's how you spell it. I'm absolutely sure that's how you spell it. Anyways, um, the first thing that we're going to do is see out. Um, uh, never mind, you're not, not going to type that. You're going to type see out. Oops. And then you're going to do um, type the length of side A. I just realized that they're, they're not called sides, they're called legs for some reason. No, seriously, that's what I learned. Wait a second, hold on. Why is this it's undefined? Oh, that's right. We have to do... By the way, if you're, if you're using the Xcode program for Macs, you do not have to do this. But if you're using Visual Studio, like I am, you always have to include this. It's called standard dot... Or, sorry, standard af x and it's not even okay so um you're going to do the uh quotation marks and then stdafx which means standard and then a afx i don't know what afx means dot h is the header file so if you're using a windows computer and you're using visual studio always use this in the beginning that should fix this now let's go ahead and build uh in c++ building a program is basically like refreshing it oh, okay Weird. Oh, that's right. I forgot to do something else. Using namespace system. Using namespace standard. Wow, I'm stupid. Okay, I'm trying to teach you guys this stuff, and I don't even know what I'm doing. Um, okay, great. Now it's working. <laughs> that was stupid of me. Anyways, so... Type the length of leg A, 
and then we're going to do C in. So that's going to be stored into A. And then we're going to do another C out thing. And we'll do type the length of leg B. And then C in B, right? So now that we have those values, what we're going to do is we're going to... Now, this can only work if you have the CMath library up here. All you have to do is just type pound and include CMath right up here. Here. Um, and that will make this work. If you don't have the thing, it won't work. So you're going to type pow, which means to the power of. Okay. And um, inside of here, you're going to do power of... B. Or no, sorry. Of A. Will that work? Wait a second. What? Oh, no, no, sorry. Never mind. I'm making something up. Pow doesn't exist. Just do this. A eh, equals A times A. It bothers me when there's not enough space in between the letters, so I just put the space. Um, So basically, this just makes it so it's A squared now. And we're going to do the same thing. B equals B time, times B. So what this is doing is it's um, A times A is A squared. So it's setting A equal to A squared. And now we're going to add, or we're going to do C equals A, or A plus B. So now um, we need to find the square root of C. So we'll do hypotenuse, and we're going to set that equal to the square root. Okay, put parentheses and put c. Why is that not? Oh no, never mind. It is working. Okay, hypotenuse equals square root of c. All right. So now, <laughs> now that that absolutely totally works, and I am absolutely correct about everything, we're going to type c out. Oops, like that, and and here we're, we'll type. Um, the hypotenuse is, and then, oops, and then we'll type this again, and then we'll do, s and then we'll type, oh, oops, hypotenuse, okay? I know how to spell. Don't question me, and don't judge me. <laughs> okay. Um, and then I should print out that, and then there's a whole console, colon, colon, read key. Of course, this is only, um, this only works if you're using Visual Studio. Um, if you're not using Visual Studio, please use the other method that I've stated in one of my earlier tutorials. All right, so let's see if this works. So let's use some very square numbers. Let's use 4 and 2. Oh, no, sorry. Let's just do 4 and 8. So 8 times 8 is uh, 64, and 4 times 4 is 16. Okay, 16 plus 64. Six, so basically it's going to do 16 plus 64, which is 80. And then you have to find the square root of 80, which is not a very square number. So you know what? We'll just do... Um, and we'll just do... Um, hmm, what's a nice square number that we need to find? Um... 64. 64 is good. So, you know what? You know, the program's going to work anyway. So, 7. We'll just do 7. 7 times 7 is 49. Or, as my friends would say, 47. And, um, just kidding. I don't have friends. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways. Um, so 7 times 7 is 49. And 49 plus... Eh, I don't know math. Let's just say four. The hypotenuse is eight. Okay, let's see if that's true. I don't know how to do math, so I'm just going to pull out my calculator. Um, my iPod. <sighs> seven times seven is 49. 49 plus 16 is 64. Wait a second, is it? No, it's not. It's 65, and the square root of 65 is 8. As you can see, my program is absolutely flawless, and it knows what the square root of 65 is.
It's not eight. My program doesn't work. Um, now, of course, this is not the correct answer. It's like, it's like eight point blah 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 random stuff. Um, however, the thing is, uh, I have not taught you how to do decimals yet. So right now, it will not work with anything <laughs> where the answer is a decimal. And I know that that's pretty stupid. That that's pretty stupid. Um, but it's actually, believe it or not, somewhat complicated to get it to um, do decimals. You have to create like a new in type of integer and stuff. Anyways, that that's all I really have actually for my um, tutorial. Whoa! Okay, hey, <laughs> hey, I'm so good at recording and so professional. Um, and basically, um. Oh, what was I going to say? Okay, yeah. Okay. Um, eh, nothing's working. I just realized, while I'm recording this, this is not showing anything. Hold on a second. Let me see if I can get this to record it. Um, should be working. Okay, here we go. Now you, c now you can see it. So you can see it says, type the, the length of leg A. I typed 7. Type the length of leg B, it's four. Um, and um, and then there it says type the hypotenuse, and there it says the hypotenuse is eight. Um, now, it's it's not really eight, and I just explained that you have to have a bunch of like weird decimals for it to work. Well, anyways, that's my tutorial. I'm really sorry. I don't know how to record and make YouTube videos at all. You should totally check out Unit Test. He knows how to do it way better than I do. Uh, and bye. Subscribe for more. Also, if there's something you want to know how to do in C++, please leave it in the comments. Or if you have any questions about anything, leave it in the comments. Or if you're a nice person, leave it in the leave it in the comments because I have no friends and no life, and I need support on YouTube. <laughs>